and just wow, we'll come back to my soda. Is it worth it? So today's episode, we got this cool image around here. And basically what this is, is the K10 gaming keyboard. If you see the one that we got right here is a brand called N Pen. And right here, they probably got some of the specs and features that's on here. So they mentioned how the keyboard is actually water resistant. It has multi-function, it has USB 2.0, and it's multi-color because of the RGB option that's on here. So if you guys see my previous video, I actually tested this before, but I don't want to do like an update video and like a new unboxing video to show you guys what she looks like because the previous video was not as good. So I'm actually open up to show you guys what the inside looks like first. All right. So when you guys first open up, this actually looks like inside. So you haven't seen the keyboard inside right there, but let's take it out. So let's see when you guys take out the product. Inside right here, they probably got a little accessory that you can use to take out the keys on the keyboard. And I'll show you guys how that works. But right here, we see we do have a keyboard. So let's take it out. So once you guys take it out, this is what the product looks like. Inside, they do probably got the user manual to teach you guys how to use all the different button controls on here as well. So for this keyboard, it's not like a silent keyboard. It is a mechanical keyboard. So when I just tap on each button on here, it'll make a lot of noise. So let me see you guys do have all different buttons on here. So if you guys want to use it for gaming or if you guys want to use it casually, you guys can definitely use it how you guys want to. So this is what the front part looks like before you guys turn it on and activate it. If you guys turn it on the back, this is what the back part looks like. So we do have the option on both sides for you to lift it up a little bit if you guys want to. So just like that, really easily. Right here we do have the keyboard which is USB 2.0. And for the cable that's included for you guys, it is a wired cable. So definitely want to plug this into like a USB adapter or something if you guys are using a Mac. But the cool thing about this keyboard, you can definitely use it for like Mac, Windows, or whatever. And I love how the actual cable is like nylon braided, so that way I know it's like high quality cable. And also if you guys notice on the bottom of the keyboard, they do have a non stick material. So that way when you guys put it down, it won't move around. So that is basically what the keyboard looks like when you guys first get it. For the one that we got right here, like I mentioned, it is the K10, which is the wired option. They do have like a wireless option as well. If you guys see my previous video, I actually tested one that's wireless. And for this keyboard, I believe they also have this available in other colors as well. Last time I reviewed this, they have this in pink. So I'm not sure if they have it in pink anymore, but if you guys do want the pink one, you can go check that out. So before I actually plug it in to show you guys how it works and what she looks like, let me show you guys how to use the accessory. So the way how you guys use the accessory is actually very simple. All you need to do is stick it in between like a key like this, push it all the way down. And then once you guys push it all the way down, you guys can pull it out really easily like this. All right, so let's see how we can take it out really easily. And this is what the product looks like inside. So if you guys want to switch the different keys on here, you definitely can. But once you guys take it out, it's actually really easy to actually put it back. All you need to do is push back right here and push back in. And it's all set. So for whatever reason, if you guys ever need to change the keys, you can definitely do that on here. And it also mentioned for this keyboard, there's like 26 keys for anti-ghosting. If you guys want to use it for like gaming or etc. And the way how to design the keyboard, like I mentioned, there's a tilt option right here. So that way it's tilted up just a little bit to give you guys that ergonomic design when you guys are using it for work or gaming or whatever. But that is everything that's on the product. Let me plug in cable to show you guys what the product looks like when you guys do plug it in. All right. So here is what the product looks like when you guys turn off the light. You can see it definitely looks pretty cool. If you guys are curious about how to use the different button controls on here to change the different lights, etc. Like increasing different brightness or change the different color mode, you guys can refer to this image right here. But I'm actually showing you guys right here as well to show you guys how to actually change it. So if you guys want to turn on or turn off the LED lights, you guys want to press on this LED button right here. That is how you guys turn it off. But if you guys notice when you guys press the button on here, that is one, two, and three, and then it turns off. And if you guys want to increase or lower the brightness level on here, you guys want to press an FN and page up or page down at the same time. So just like this. So FM, page up. So it's right on max. If you guys press page down, that will bring it down. So there's zero, one, two, and three. So three is the max. And if you guys want to activate like the briefing option, you guys can press FM and LED, and that will activate the briefing option. And the way how you guys control the speed on here for the breathing option, you can press an FM and minus to slow it down and then the plus to increase it. All right, you can definitely see the difference that's on here. So that is basically how you guys use the different options on here for the RGB light options. So whether if you guys want to use it as a gaming keyboard or casual keyboard to like type stuff or work or whatever, you can definitely use it how you guys want to. But if you guys notice when you guys are typing on here, it is pretty loud since it is a mechanical keyboard and not like a silent keyboard. So if you guys want a silent keyboard, you can get those instead. 
But now I'm going to put it down on the table to show you guys what the product looks like if you guys want to set it up and then we'll come back and talk more about it in a second. Alright, so you can see we do have the keyboard all set up. If you guys notice behind the keyboard we do have the gaming mouse pad. And you can see it actually goes really well with the keyboard because of the RGB light that's built in. If you guys look at from the side, you can definitely see how it's lifted up just a little bit. So that way you can get like that ergonomic feeling when you guys actually use it. But you can see when you guys do set it up, it actually looks pretty nice. And when you guys test out the keyboard on here, it should work. So right now on the screen, we don't have anything, but if I do tap on here. You can see the keyboard definitely does work. And like I mentioned, if you guys want to change a different light option, you definitely can. So just like this. And if you guys want to activate the breathing option, you guys can do this. But this is what the keyboard looks like if you guys do set it up. And especially if you guys do end up getting like the gaming mouse pad that we have right here, it actually looks even better. But this is what the overall product looks like when you guys do set it up. It definitely definitely looks and feels pretty nice. Alright, welcome back guys. So nice little quick test of product and definitely actually does work and should work quite well. So if you see when you guys do set it up on a table, it looks so much better. And especially if you guys turn on the, like, the backlit option or like the RGB light option in dark setting, it looks so much cooler. And like I mentioned for this product, they do have like a wireless option. So if you guys don't like all the cable that's hanging out, you can definitely go for that option instead. If you guys are curious about what that one is called, that is a K11 wireless keyboard. But that is everything that's on Bada. Now to unboxing and testing Bada. Now to end the question of whether or not it's actually worth or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want or need one of these. Especially if you guys are trying to look for a high quality RGB mechanical keyboard that has the same design that's on here. That I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. But then obviously if it's only guys who don't want or don't need one or haven't wanted these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys. So you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.